News White House plans for a smarter electricity grid took a leap forward today as President Obama helped launch the first ever large scale solar power plant biggest in the nation. It's in Arcadia, Florida. He also announced more than $3.4 billion in grants from stimulus funds will be heading to smart grid projects around the country. Clean Skies Dan Goldstein is here with more on that. Dan. Yeah, thanks, Susan. The Obama administration is counting on the smart grid and clean energy to save electricity and create jobs. And today the White House announced 100 wind as part of its smart grid stimulus program that was created under the Recovery Act. Now, companies in 49 states are getting these grants ranging from about a million dollars to as much as 200 million. And most of these grants are going to help local utility companies jumpstart their plans for smart grid technology, such as adding smart meters and wireless systems to help equipment communicate with each other. Now, one of these companies is Flora Power and Light, and they got about 200 million from the White House for smart grid technology. And the president today got to see some of that technology firsthand when he visited the DeSoto Next Generation Solar Energy Center, where the first ever large scale solar plant will be connected to the first elements of the smart grid. Now, the president said that projects like this one in Florida will help generate emission free electricity and remove thousands of tons of carbon from the atmosphere, all while creating hundreds of clean energy jobs. With the flip of a switch, FPL will has moved the solar panels behind me into a position where they can catch the sun's rays. And now for the very first time, a large scale solar power plant, the largest of its kind in the entire nation, will deliver electricity produced by the sun to the citizens of the Sunshine State. And I think it's about time. Now together, grant recipients are set to deploy 18 million smart meters across the country, 1 million in-home displays, and thousands of advanced transformers, load manage de uh, management devices, thermostats, all of which the president said have the potential to transform the nation the way the interstate highway did in the 1950s. We can imagine the day when you'll be able to charge the battery on your plug-in hybrid car at night because your smart meter reminded you that Nighttime electricity is cheapest. In the daytime, when the sun is at its strongest, solar panels like these and electricity stored in car batteries will be able to power the grid with affordable, emission-free energy. The stronger, more efficient grid would be able to uh, transport power generated at dams and wind turbines from the smallest towns to the biggest cities. And above all, we can see all this work that would be created for millions of Americans who need it and who want it here in Florida and all across the country. Now, in all, the projects will save about 14,000 or 1,400 megawatts of power. That's equivalent to about three large-scale power plants, or in dollar terms, as much as $20 billion off electricity bills, according to EPRI. And as many utility executives will tell you, the most efficient plant is the one they don't need to build, Susan. Right. The president was able to slip in some uh, some words on the climate bill hearings, Dan. Absolutely, Susan. While Republicans are very fond of saying the president creates straw men in many of these debates, he said that the climate and clean energy battle between those looking backwards and those looking forwards, between his words, those who would, quote, seize the future and those who, quote, were afraid of the future. And he knows which side Americans usually come down on, Susan. All right, Dan Goldstein, thank you.